what got me started in with music was when I was really young, I used to just sing. Like, I sang anything and everything. The first moment that I knew that everything was real um, was when I met Mac Miller. And I was actually giving away tickets because I didn't have anyone to go. I had four tickets, no one to go. So I just gave them to these kids. And they were like, well, do you still want to come? So I went and we went and they were like, we're going to meet Mac Miller. And we stayed there, watched the whole show. It sold out as we got there. And at the end, we stayed there till like one in the morning. The show ended at 12 at midnight. And we ended up meeting him like when he came out and met his hype man. Uh, met his DJ, went to his hotel, like went to the lobby at least. And you know, that was so surreal to me, you know, actually meeting someone that's already famous, like already selling out venues. And you know, that just made it more of a realization to me that this is something I can do if I keep chasing my dreams and keep, you know, on the right path and staying dedicated and keeping people around me that have my best interests. <laughs> I could sum it up to one word, I want longevity. That's the thing that a lot of rappers don't have. They don't have that longevity. They can't carry themselves as a brand. They can't market themselves. They need these labels to do it. And right now I'm solo and I'm independent. You know, I want people to always want me around and to want, you know, something that, someone that they can, you know, vibe to and that's a down to earth person. And, you know, you can have at your house. You can introduce to your friends and your family because, you know, people don't want an evil person or someone that's gonna come in and you know mess up their stuff and leave and not help clean up. I treat music like a job. You know this is this is a nine to five to a five to nine. <laughs> so you talked a little bit about being humble. Like what is what does humble mean to you? Uh, humble is is someone that's compassionate. Someone that can talk to you on your level, you know, that can see eye to eye with anyone. You know, that's a humble person and someone that doesn't take success and, you know, do what they please with it. They respect, you know, success. The success is something, and, you know, you got to treat that as if it's, you know, a person or it's a thing. You know, you can't break success. You can't overuse success. You can't abuse success. Like, success is what you make it. My overall dream, I mean, that's bigger than life. I mean, I guess it's to change the world, you know, with my words and my actions and, uh, you know, provide for people that don't have or, you know, put money in, po in the pockets of people that don't necessarily have that money to do stuff, you know. You know, that's, that's what I do it for. I do it for the fans, you know. And, you know, like I said, my family and my friends that have come and gone, you know, rest in peace. You know, my friends always and, and my team, you know, I got people that work dedicated, you know, people that are dedicated and, you know, just want, you know, my best interest. So it's really cool to finally have everything fall into place um, like it is right now. I want to see everyone that works with me or that, that comes to me, you know, to be successful. I don't want to see anyone need for anything, you know, that's a big thing. I don't, I don't like people that need anything, you know, I'd rather see you smiling than, than sad and down. Don't stop believing in me. I'm grinding, I'm working. Don't ever think I'm giving up on what I do because I love what I do. Um, this music is my life. You know, I'm just getting to learn myself as I step into this industry, you know, wholeheartedly and just, you know, ready to expose myself to the world and finally open up. And, you know, I, I just want you to stay along for the ride. And, you know, if you're just hopping on board, you know, I appreciate the support 100%. You know, I will tell you first person that, you know, it's been a long time coming, you know, me starting from the ground up and, you know, working with the people that I've worked with and had the features on my mixtapes. Keep me going, you know, give me a shout out. You know, that's, that's, that's what keeps me thinking, you know, keeps my mind going. And just there's two, there's two, there's two sides of Bentley and that's just like, you gotta know, like there's this, the cool, chill, laid back side and then there's the performer side where I gotta be on point and, you know, I can get hype, but, you know, for the most part, you know, I'm very chill. I like to just kick it with people and have a good time. Like I said, if you smile and I'm smiling, and that's all that matters to me. You know, I want to be around people that got good vibes. You know, life is, you know, life. You know, stuff is going to happen. You got to be willing to 
to learn from it, to accept it, and to grow from it. You know, I'm only 20 years old, but you know, I, I like to act like I'm older when, because when, when the time comes and I got to be around them older people, they know that you know I'm very respectful. I'm very you know easy to talk to. You know, I, I got manners. I can you know comprehend a sentence, you know, and, and not have to talk in a weird way for you to to get my point across. You know, I just like to like to be a gentleman, you know, that's, that's what Bentley stands for. You think of Bentley, you think of a nice car, you think of luxury, like, you know, that's what I want to be, but I want to be still humble about it because, you know, where I came from and in the beginning of things, you know, where I started, it wasn't the best, but I'm here now, so what can I do with this moment?